I know yeah. some of that skill set would have helped me at community college because I kept stats for the basketball team, and I really could have given a fuck about it. It is so, so connected. Yeah. All of this is so uh, connected. Yeah, that's why I went back into that gym. I could hear the voice of Clarence going, bitch, I need seven more rebounds. <laughs> okay, man, you got them. <laughs> you got them, Clarence. Don't worry about it. <laughs> How am I going to get seven rebounds if I fouled out? You leave that to me. I'll front load the first quarter. my lighting yours is good mine's good, good, yeah. good right good. good i knew it and you knew got it. that one you got a little bit of soft you got that soft light in the background so you, so you get some yeah. depth in the shot and then you're you're lit up front chad you look great andy you're there yeah <laughs> it's this fucking ring light it's some crazy shit <laughs> god damn it man <sighs> I love that we really just never do anything about this issue. Just let it roll over to next week. Well, yeah, two, keep thinking. Two of you did. You went and bought just, lights. Well, <laughs> I bought lights. I just bought the wrong two. I got too much light. Now I need to decrease yeah. it. But that's the problem I'm talking yeah. about. The ring light purchase. Like, instead of just saying, all right, well, let's just get him a proper ring light or figure out what works. We're just like, let's just do it again. It's like the, when the light comes on in your engine light comes on in your car you know you should have when i bought it I mean, work you, itself out in this case is when andy's engine light doesn't come on yeah <laughs> maybe it's you just the, forget uh, about it till the next time you drive you're like, oh yeah fuck what it, what it says <laughs> yeah it, exactly. it's a tiktok and generation you it while you're doing it well when i saw it it was like you know younger people and they seem to be having a blast. They had their phone hooked up to part of it and then the light on and everything looked really fucking good on the box. And I get home and then I got turn the light on. It's like five feet away and it makes my face fucking. Anyway, why don't I even turn them on, man? Let's see. It's pretty good right here, we'll right? Yeah, it's right there. It's good. It's great, dude. You this is awesome. natural light. This is what no light looks like. The God light the scene. So, but as long as, you know, we keep this natural light going, we're good. Handy, I got a question for you. I think it, I think it came up yesterday when uh, when you were on the Super Bowl uh, stream. Yeah. When you had a when you had a, a feet, a seat filler when you weren't there. Uh, oh, yeah. A, a Gary Busey, Busey head. head in your chair. Yeah. Um, someone was asking, where, where's all the squirrels? They since they put this plastic up to cut uh, just to keep the weather out on the rails, they don't come yeah. up because I don't. I think they either they can't see it, you know. Maybe they can't rob what they can't see, or something. But yeah, they haven't come up, and I don't. I like you know. It, I don't miss them. At, yeah. at this time of year, you know, they fuck up shit, and uh, they'd be you know like last year they were ripping this the blankets I sit on apart. Like you know, let me clip off a little piece for you. Don't rip it out of the middle. You know? They're untrainable, I think. <laughs> They're unbookable. Yeah, I've, I've tried yelling at squirrels to about, go, go on, get out of here, and they don't fucking even, you know, a cat might at least get that you're being aggressive, but a squirrel doesn't understand it. <laughs> what was the question? It seemed, like you had made, it seemed like you had made such progress, though, when we first started this podcast, they were... You know, they were on your railing. They were a part of the show. They were getting drawn into pictures. They were, they were a integral part of the show. Well, they'll yeah. be back. They yeah. just don't. We don't win her. You know, they they got hibernating <laughs> type shit to do. <laughs> all of a sudden, Oliver's gone from the Brady Bunch, and no one says why. Yeah, yeah. There's no Tigger. <laughs> he went with. He went to go find Tigger. <laughs> Tiger. Tiger. Yeah. Tigger was a different. He went to the show. great sleep right. over in the sky. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I missed the Super Bowl stream yesterday, but it seems like everybody got pretty drunk, huh? Is that what happened? Well, they did. I I got a, a 
my side of it was different. Uh, you know, I went there to just observe and have fun. Like, uh, and then, uh, there was like a, a, in the second half, I was talking to Derek. They got like, you know, in the animal house, we've talked about that. You know, you go, Oh, here's Akmed and Muhammad or whatever in the corner. <laughs> well, it, it, Derek comes in and Derek's like, Hey man, I'm, Hey, I miss you, man. And, and, uh, and, uh, you know, the, and then it went on and on and then uh, everybody else on the thing was muted except me and Derek. So yeah. it's basically like like a whole party oh, no. watching me and Derek. And and uh, and then uh, oh, you know if it were a real party, I would have said, "Hey, Derek, let's go see what's going on in, over there." And, <laughs> and then you go, yeah. Derek, this is Ahmed Mohammed, Chug <laughs> Dish. <laughs> so, and that went on and on and then uh, finally i kept well and before that there were a bunch of people with uh were uh, not a bunch but several people were putting up talk andy talk andy say something because nobody else there was everybody was muted except me well uh, I, uh, wait, andy the whole point of this was for people to be a fly on the wall in the fun house uh, not for andy to fucking uh do a, a four-hour q a <laughs> no, I didn't want to do so any when, of that. So when there's no when there's no mic open at the funhouse, it's because everyone's watching the football game, of which you didn't have the football game on. You were just sitting on the balcony talking to Derek. Right, and then everybody else was stuck listening to it. But you didn't have to fucking <laughs> fill time. I didn't have to talk to Derek, but I there wasn't someone that. off camera going. Derek's stretch. like, I've never done Zoom before. <laughs> oh, okay, all right, man. It, it be... never occurred to you to mute yourself and be like, "Sorry, I." I, I'm I mean, you I don't started know what out the right way when you had Gary Busey in your seat. Yeah, well, I missed <laughs> it. I went in the first half and napped, uh, and then I come out, and then you know, and then everybody in. The, I was kept thinking. Well, I kept thinking Doug was coming back because Doug would be, like, "Hold on," uh, and then go, and then you'd hear him in the kitchen, and I go, "Well, Derek, what's going on around you?" You know, it's like, you know more about what's going on. I don't know where I really, uh, how do you, hey, I can talk to, hey, there's Brett. Uh, he was talking to <laughs> Brett Brock. And then that, yeah. then Brett Brock was like, Brett Brock hasn't been laid in a while. And he, he was like fucking talking about cleaning out his pipes. And then I did feel like I should, as a, uh, a polite guest, <laughs> redirect the energy away from the ladies. <laughs> 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 I don't get somebody to suck my dick. Hey, all right, man. Uh, hey, Derek, you repair cars, huh? <laughs> but it was it was all right, you know. It was uh, I you know I, I could participate by hearing you guys giggling and falling down in the background while I uh, talked to Derek about his year. Oh, and I think I owe him a hug. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. He, you know, well that yeah. After we I misdirected uh, the Brett Brock needing to get his pipes cleaned out. And then Derek goes, I'm not talking about sex. I just want to have physical contact and hug oh, somebody. Man. Bro, bro, <laughs> sex. Yeah. And I'm like, man, there's like, oh, I don't know how people are hearing this, man. this, but at least five screens oh, of people God. are feeling horrible for you. <laughs> and they want to leave the room too. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. I don't know. It seemed I'm like glad that I didn't on. hear that. I would have shut the whole thing down. Yeah, yeah. I should I kept hoping the person mercy, but yeah, I didn't think about mute. and I didn't think about. Uh, well, once I got plunked down in the chair and the cap settled in, <laughs> it's really you know, it's an asshole move to get up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you understand, Doug was was there in spirit the whole time. But he also had a party to host. Yeah. So that so it's it it makes right, sense well, that he would get up and go, oh the, shit, more ice. Well, here's Derek, what was sit going down on for a minute. Is uh is also I didn't I if I could have unmuted people, I could have done a Q and A button. I couldn't unmute anybody except Derek. <laughs> and uh, you know how that is. Any everybody's been at a party there at the fun house knows what uh, the inability to mute Derek is like. <laughs> I, I, I think Stanhope putting Derek in there to talk with you was his version of muting Derek. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then he's you know he's had a rough go of it. COVID ain't that much fun for Derek. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I kept hoping Kenny would walk into the Zoom. Oh, uh, Kenny's still. <laughs> Kenny, yeah, Kenny's hurt. Kenny's uh, still uh, banished to COVID. Yeah, uh, he's, 
the Did house, he have the it? house with that COVID built over there. You got a bunch of kids that had it and stuff. So, yeah, uh-huh. yeah he's. He, I could tell he, he, he's. He's just a little, taking a break. Yeah, he's he's a little hurt. He knows Dave Raiders is much uh, more compact, better looking version of himself. <laughs> <laughs> he's more rock, less castle. Yeah, yeah like uh, <laughs> like yeah, Dave stayed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> they've stayed in more Utero castle Walker. rock less kenny is the yeah. Yeah, that could be it <laughs> maybe kenny's both well, had a few more drinks well, in, in uh the birthing process or whatever in the uh gestation period maybe she had a cocktail or two whereas dave's mother didn't <laughs> same father you can tell that same bloodline <laughs> oh i'm only reluctantly drinking today I'm not even drinking at all. <laughs> oh, Chad, man, you were on fire. Tracy came came home at 5 a.m. Oh man, I yeah. was a, that was what was going to happen to me. Poor Jenny was huddled up over there with a blanket all sober, yeah. and I felt bad, so I had to go home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I think uh, I I got phone. I was getting phone messages from Doug at 2:45 <clears throat> a.m. So yeah, that, yeah. That was Did you on. podcast this morning? I saw he was asking the podcast. No, <laughs> <laughs> it didn't make it. <laughs> he just he just called me. He was up on the on the roof, on the the uh, our the properties back up to each other. So he's up on the roof. And he's yelling. It's like you fucking call my phone at two forty five in the morning, but you don't fucking call my phone in the afternoon. You're yelling in the whole fucking. In the in the Black Knob Valley here, Shaley. <laughs> uh, yeah, because he just he just met the neighbors down the road, and I'm like, oh, I can tell he's drunk from here, and that was an hour and a half ago. So oh, nice. I think he, he got up and just started rallying. So <laughs> yeah, and, one I mean, man. We had 12, we had like is there anyone with him? Here, maybe or is he is he just one man rallying? No, it was with the, some new neighbors that moved in oh, down okay. two two doors down, and they're they're really cool. And Ra- and Raider, uh, the, uh, the 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 uh, more rock, less castle. Uh, yeah, more rock. But uh, for, for twelve people being here, it's pretty fucking messy, man. <laughs> we with with only with a very limited number of people, it got trashed like there were eighty people here. Was was Derek not allowed out of that room he was in? Because he never. I he think did, he just enjoyed again. talking to you. Oh man! Yeah. In contact, you said it yourself. Right. Well, we did. You know, it, it was like, uh, it's like you haven't talked to anybody in a month, and then you're stuck in an elevator with them, or a year. I, I and he wasn't in Bisbee the last time I was there, and I know. And then what we always talk about going to the fucking arch, man. Uh, every time, and it was like you know, it's like I wouldn't have even remembered the situation. In St. Louis. Yeah, we were in St. Louis. There was a big party, a lot of drugs, a lot of drugs there. Uh, They weren't mine. I was trying to get rid of them. I was like, get them out of here Uh, all night. I know what to do. Yeah, and Derek. Derek I'm doing everything I can. Yeah, yeah. uh, Erickson's running around hiding some of it. (laughs) uh, uh, Work as a team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were, you know, but it was an all nighter, and Der- Derek was there, and he was just, you know, being Derek. And he goes, "You want to go down and look at the arch?" And uh, fuck, you know, I can see it fine from the window. If you've ever been to St. Louis and seen the arch, the closer you get, the stupider you feel. Uh, it's not any, you know, it's just ridiculous underneath. But he was like, you know, I go, not really. And then he goes. And he kept asking me, and I go, I don't really want to go down there. And then I had, there was like a big bottle. Of, it was like, what's the next size up from a bottle of wine? Like one of those, the bigger size uh, wine. Like a, a box? No, but it was a big, yeah. But it's just like a, a it jug? Like, yeah, like more of a jug. Not quite a jug, but you know, the bigger uh, bottles. Not and, quite a and, barrel. Work down uh, from yeah, there. Yeah, goddamn. And I should have looked it up on the internet. Uh, but uh, so it was like, it was like at least half full. Uh, yeah. optimistically it was half full and uh and Derek asked and I go if you drink all that I'm all coked up ready you know like fucking still going I go if you drink all that we'll go down there and check that thing out and then uh you know kept going and raging and then eventually I parachuted out of the situation and fell down <laughs> to sleep as the guy does Andy let me and- get this straight you dared Derek to drink free liquor 
<laughs> I said it, it was a large amount. It was an, it was an amount that would you would think if somebody Ooh. drank that amount of booze, they wouldn't fucking bother you for a week. <laughs> it was a lot he of wine. He wakes up every day thinking someone dared him to drink everything in sight. Uh, yeah, so that's what. So uh, yeah, I finally Don't throw me in that briar patch. Yeah. <laughs> Don't throw me in there. He, he, so maybe he plotted the whole thing. But I, I go, if you drink all that, and then I just <laughs> fell down to sleep. Finally, you know, like four in the morning or something, just nodding off. And then Derek's standing over me. And I, what do you want? And I, I drank it all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And, you know, I try to be honest sometimes. <laughs> so uh, I went down there with him. And uh, and and uh, every time we, he, I see him, he brings it up. And it was a very special time for him. That I don't get it, you know. Two men stand down there under the arch, and then as when I, when we got down there, he told me how special it was to him. It's because yeah. you, it's because of the sweetness and kindness in your heart when you got out of bed and walked down there with them. When I gave him a bottle of free wine, yeah, also that <laughs> somebody else is fine because I wouldn't have bought a big bottle of wine to no party. Shit. <laughs> Yeah, Andy, you're good about giving away other people's shit. No problem. Was, Very genuine. Yeah, that was the show that wasn't Lipsky on that show uh, with the uh, latex. Uh, like, what? Yeah. Explain that. I forget what he did. Travis but. Lipsky. Travis Lipsky came out as a uh, as a blow up doll. He had climbed in. See, so it cut open a latex blow up doll and climbed inside it, and then came out and perform stand-up comedy from the perspective of a, of a blow-up doll. With it was the pretty face frightening. With the mouth because, the mouth, right? it, because a blow-up doll looks scary anyway, but if a blow-up doll is wrapped around Travis Lipsky, it oh looks God. really ominous. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that and that's how the party started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shit. Uh, it ended under the arch, but it started with Travis Lipsky and latex. <laughs> yeah, that was an oh, well, I forget that dude. There was like a bunch of us there. Doug was there. Was uh, that? Was that? Was I there? I don't. I don't remember. Because we played a place called the Firebird, and then Cherokee. This, this was Cherokee down was like at a, the a community event center. Yeah. I remember being sure. in St. Louis a day after that. Well, I think it was baseball season. It was the opening of the uh, oh, first game of the St. Louis Cardinals season. And me and Doug were on a balcony. Uh, and I had all these uh, stickers that Hinty had made. They were Andy Andrus, what are you going to do? Like some rip off of Larry the Cable Guy. But I, he, he printed like, you know, hundreds of them. I'm like, I'm never going to fucking have, you know stupid fucking stickers so but i had we had fun just papering the people that were going to the stadium with uh, all them stickers <clears throat> that's how i merged that was getting the that was when i first started branding yeah your for, first foray into merch Dro yeah throwing stickers giving things down. away yeah mm -hmm. well I'll giving somebody else's stuff away effectively littering the, the city of st louis yeah yeah, I, I mean, I, I would think that some of them made it to, you know, that somebody just stickered shit with them just out of boredom. So that's probably, <laughs> you know, good for uh, it seems exposure. Seems like you could have done that. I, well, yeah, but why do that when I don't, I you know, pre-COVID, <laughs> I didn't want to mix with people. Especially so St. Louis fans. That area, mm -hmm. that the, <laughs> the Firebird was a place that had comedy and bands. You could see the arch from there. Mm -hmm. And that There's, might have been it. You can't see the arch yeah. from anywhere in St. Louis. I mean, St. Louis. you couldn't see it from Cherokee. The Cherokee yeah. place was was uh, further down, uh, down the out of that area. But that area, you guys were you guys must have been staying close by because Andy, you and you and uh, Drunky walked over there, right? Yeah. The show was at the show was at the landing. Somewhere on the oh, landing. Oh, I know. What, so okay, yeah, that's right by the water. Yeah, that's so right over by. The hotel was, was right across the street from the arch. I mean, we yeah. we never left that downtown area. The I landing is, at, uh, is at the end of America in, Center there. Yeah, I don't remember anything other it's than the that. last. It's the last vestige of uh, civilization because once you walk to the arch, just past there, the 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 cop that we talked to was like, "You don't walk." 
past the arch going towards Solard. And that's where I thought you guys were staying. That's that's it's a really bad area after that. Yeah. Well, I, I was going to say, if you walk past the arch going the other way, or I, you're going to end up in the Mississippi River. So you I can't wanna walk do past. A, yeah. I want to do a, a Midwest. No, along the, it's along the river there. It's along the yeah. river. If you pass the arch along the river, we it's should, really we bad. We should go back. I want to go do a Midwest gig <laughs> so I can uh, go uh, uh, when they start booing, go, come on, meet me in the middle. <laughs> come on, Midwest. You know, a little bit my way, and we'll all be on the same page. <laughs> like like Springsteen said. All right, too soon. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That'll crush. Set up some gigs. I guess I don't want to go to the Midwest, really. I can't think of uh, any reason. But everybody's in Texas is performing comedy and going in crowded clubs and uh eating together and uh, it's COVID. Yeah. The way to defeat Dude, COVID, COVID is to ignore it and go about your business like it never was a thing at all. Mm-hmm. It is true. If and you it, just decide you don't give a fuck, then you can just go on with your life. That is a here, truth. Statement. And I, and I, and I don't. You know, I'm not wishing. I don't want. You know, I just heard this from Chris at Castles. That like that. You know that there. Everything seems to be like just completely like it before. You know, nobody cares about the mask. Nobody's in, and clubs are open. There's a lot of shit going on in Austin. In Texas. A lot of comics are leaving yeah. other places to go to Austin. And I, I do hope, right it, now, I hope it works out, you know, but, uh, I mean, I, you know, cause if it does, that means the rest of us can fucking, uh, you know, not worry about it and, and do the same shit, I guess. But it seems fucking ominous that so many people are fucking, uh, ignoring it and enough, uh, uh, you know, so it's either a big fucking hoax or, uh, it ain't for some of them, but I don't know, man, it's a. It's kind of a lot fucking, of healthy people are just getting it and then fucking, right. have, you know, then you don't have to worry about care. it anymore. If right. you get over it, you know, if you, if you don't die from it, then you're good. At this point, <laughs> at, at this point, my son's had it. My sister's had it. My brother-in-law really? and then both of their sons have had it and none of them got sick. So, well, shit. you know, so that's what it, it is. is. People are just moving past. But, but the ones who do get sick, get really fucking sick. Like it. Yeah. I don't know how to explain it because my daughter is still seeing, I mean, they've actually started to see a decline at her hospital, but there's still a lot of people hooked up to respirators. So, you know, there's going to be, I saw a thing that said uh, we should be at at herd immunity, 70% vaccination by September. And at that point, then you kind of top the hill on whether the, the, there's not enough people that the virus can infect for the virus to keep expanding. It has to go down after that because it can't reach enough people. And once that happens, everything's open, right? Yeah, I guess. Fuck, I don't know, man. I it just you or know it's it like mutates and fuck start again. Yeah, well that one. Yeah, it feels like uh, you know, it feels like oh well, Texas is you know like uh, comedy is dead everywhere unless you're ready to get in your car and go to t- uh, Austin, and then you know fucking getting stage time would be another matter. But uh, you know, it's like uh, everybody else is left uh, left out and they're moving on. But it's like if if they're okay with it, then it's like I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just fucking ready to drive somewhere. I think, but. <laughs> <laughs> But I, you know, it's like, yeah, I guess that's what it is, though. It's just so many people have had it. It's been minor that uh, it's not a big a lot deal. Of those be, comics, all these spikes and shit. A lot of the comics in Austin have already had it. So, well, if it's like herpes, <laughs> you know, a comic goes there with herpes, and then eventually everyone's got it. How do you it. know that, Erickson? <laughs> uh, because I heard that from uh, Mr. Tony Hinchcliffe. Who's already had it. And, and Hinchcliffe uh, goes down and does a Monday should kill Tony. <clears throat> he lives there now. He was the first one. To, he went with Ro- when Rogan went. Really? So, wow. I guess I shouldn't put words in Tony's mouth. I know that a lot of the comedians in Austin have, ha- have had it. So whether that means most, I added the word most. I just kind of made it seem that way in my own head. So I don't want to. Yeah, yeah. I just, I, there was that big thing that uh, Dave Chappelle had it, and there was, you know, you saw all the they were all like hanging out with the groups <laughs> of people. I saw. Shit. Yeah. 
Yeah, even <laughs> at Stanhope's yesterday, we all were fucking pretty far away from each other most all the time. It was uh, uh, even a comfortable tripping. party. It was different. Yeah. <laughs> did you guys? You, did you guys all have mushrooms or just Shaley did? Uh, did I had a little. I was just nauseous and bloated mm-hmm. and tired. Shaley <laughs> <laughs> was cooking. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Let's unpack that. What happened? That's a you bad ate some trip, mushrooms. Man. You got your period. No, <laughs> <laughs> my aunt Flo. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I got. Shaley had to eat his mushrooms with pamperin. <laughs> Wait, you just sprinkle this on the pamper? Is that what we do? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> no, I got up early to start cooking. And then uh, All right, man. Right I ended up cooking, uh, barbecue, smoking chickens, and made a bunch of pizzas and, uh, you know, and just running around doing stuff. And then setting up the feed. Last minute, got the feed up and, and going. And was drunk the night before doing the test feed, which was awesome. Uh, but, yeah, <laughs> so Tracy's... Tracy's been uh, rallying for two days, which is crazy. But uh, yeah, last night I was just at the t- at the end of it, at the end of the Super Bowl, which I'm glad we're not talking about it because that was de- depressing. But uh, yeah, I, I was just fucking out of it. And then yeah, the, the nauseous from the from the mushrooms didn't help. But we did discover uh, sprinkling powdered mushrooms on uh, ice cream is delicious, and huh. then uh, cheese its and barbecue sauce also. <laughs> yeah, on an ice cream. I like to have heroin on a Subway sandwich. <laughs> a foot long black tar and forest ham. Black, yeah, black yeah, black tar. Black tar ham. This is from the black tar forest, Germany. Yeah, you know that black Six forest inch is that's all it is. <laughs> Got my pipes all cleaned out. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't. I had one beer for the Super Bowl, uh, and I smoked yeah. a lot of. Weed. Somebody yeah. said, said I uh, smoked uh, like bowl after bowl on mute, or I wasn't mute. And then I was like, because I was, I knew I was unmuted, and I was the only one, so I just kept smoking, and uh, I didn't want to disturb the cat. And then eventually, <laughs> you know, and it's like, hi, Derek. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna see yeah. you forever, man. <sighs> Uh, yeah. What did you stay in, Andy? Whenever uh, uh, Shaley unmuted everybody, yeah, I was there two for that. Warning. That was great. Two minute uh, warning. I, I unmuted yeah. the whole chat. <laughs> oh, Jesus, that was insane. Yeah, then, <laughs> yeah. Once you get into the rhythm of it, then you try to enter. You could jump in and throw. So yeah, I started uh, some Pink Floyd talk, and and then some other people did it, and I heard all kinds of like Roger Waters and uh, uh shit. Yeah, <clears throat> it was fun. You, you know, like how many people were in that? Like uh, over a hundred, right? One hundred twenty-five. Uh huh. So yeah, in the beginning, it was everybody that... talking at once was just annoying. It was it was bad in the very beginning, and then it regulated itself out. Right, because it people, yeah, because people, uh, you know, because when it's like everybody runs in and they're, ah, ah no, no. and then eventually like, oh, well, I, you know, yeah, it was, I that was interesting for sure. No. <clears throat> Not quite a shit show. <laughs> Now the shit show was that every. I think it's funny though. It's like people were, you know, there to party at D- Doug's and hang out in the fun house, and instead they get stuck in the main house with me placating <laughs> Eric for about forty-five minutes. Is the game had, still on? We, we had <laughs> skillet. Didn't skillet ask Derek a bunch of questions from the from the. Uh, happy oh house? yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and that was just because that guy's got a million of them. He'll just keep yeah. going. Uh, I, perfect. I saw that start laughing. I go, oh man, Skillet and Derek, what a combination! Perfect, <laughs> Shaley. <laughs> what do they not have to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Yeah, sounds like Derek's getting his bathroom all put back together. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what's worse, isolation or busting out of it for a minute and getting trapped by. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, oh, fuck. I was, you know, I can't abandon it because I was always kind of an isolate. You know, I, I might uh, uh, be loud at parties and shit, but I'm always kind of the, you know, like my alone time. 
uh, like when my kid was little, I'd go for a long, like days without talking to other adults unless I had to. And I didn't like, you know, that shit. But, uh, you know, go, oh, you make small talk. Well, what do you think of this weather? And then, okay, well, you know, like Bill Murray and, uh, and uh, Groundhog Day. Well, uh, I think we're going to bust on through with the storm. And then I think maybe we'll get a little scattered showers <laughs> in the app. Did you want to talk about the weather? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's the thing oh, about dude. it. That, you know, there ain't characters on Doug's podcast. They're real people. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking about when we were watching some guy carve an M into his forearm. <laughs> yeah. And then didn't he start it back up again? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, he brought it to, uh, yeah, he brought it to our board. <laughs> yeah, he brought it to our boardroom. <laughs> God damn yeah. it. We got to run that. our We got to run it like a it's business. Only hurt himself. Literally. <laughs> yeah, but I still, I feel, I feel gross after that. That makes me not want to do things like that. Well, I, it, I thought my suggestion of starting off with a Sharpie was, was pretty logical <laughs> without being like, without making fun of him. It's yeah. like just, just wear it around for a while. Parade it around. It's just, it's, for anybody who doesn't know what we're talking about on our live Zoom board meeting last week, some, was it Marcus? Marcus. Marcus. Uh, Marcus gave himself Nick. a tattoo on his forearm with us. We got to watch, and it was with a, with a knife. And I've made a mistake. Yeah. Well, it's like a homemade yeah. jobber, but with like, like not even it's prison not like grade ta tattoo quality. It was less than that. Yeah. 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 You know, well, it was one of those things when he came back on and and was going to complete it at the end. It was like, no, 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 no. See, w the reason we went away from you is because this wasn't good or funny or interesting already. It was just frightening, and we don't want to encourage this sort of behavior. I, I think he <laughs> and then he's like, oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Right up to didn't, the camera. And didn't just, he reference... Uh, uh, he referenced yeah, I was guy encouraging it if I remember. Didn't he uh, talk he, about, a reference crematory guy. Yeah, the crematory guy. It's like, we're not, uh, I mean, it, hey, you know, we all sprung out of the same well, but <laughs> that didn't carry over. You don't have to carry it over here. And yeah, do you want to take a break now and, and take your lunch? Is or you want to eat a sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, my Gary. Why don't you just clock out and then we'll just wait for you here? If I had Gary Busey right here. <laughs> You'd make him eat it? We'll, we'll go in turns. Instead of all taking our break together in between, we'll yeah. rotate. So, yeah, yeah. Let's do, you know, like 10 minutes. We'll stagger it so we're not all out in the break room at the same time. <laughs> those are, those are two year. Uh, yeah, I let that set too many days to eat on camera. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? It's what a Rice Krispie Treat, but I hope it's a Rice Treat. And it's I a big tell one. By, by, I can see it in his mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's delicious, though. It's a it's peanut butter. Perfect. We should get some sponsors. Think, peanut butter. I think you should, not even, not even that it's chewy, but butter. that it's peanut butter on camera. <laughs> anytime. Yeah, anytime you're on camera, make sure you eat as much peanut butter as possible. I think that's a great idea. Maybe some crackers with it. Mm, good idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I gotta, I gotta man. work on my I'll, green room. <laughs> I'll tell you last night. I'll tell you a story that happened last night. We were, uh, we had like some powdered up mushrooms towards the end, so we would put them on crackers, and then we'd eat the cracker and you know with whatever. Well, the cracker was dry as shit, so I have a mouth full of dry cracker and powdered mushroom, and oh. Tracy does too. So she picks up the bottle of barbecue sauce. And goes to squirt a little bit into her mouth so that it'll, you know, paste it up, mix it up a bit. Has no idea when it starts coming out or when to stop and just proceeds to fill her entire mouth with barbecue sauce. Which then had me oh, laughing so hard that I've got little fucking powder of fucking crackers <laughs> puffing out of my mouth. And I'm trying, I'm like, I'm not letting this go. I got to fucking swallow this. <laughs> oh, man, we laughed for Fuck, it's so long about that was hilarious. You, you don't even have to oh, see yeah. red dots to know where the potential spread of COVID was. I was on the other side of the room, so we were good. Yeah. 
behind her shield. <laughs> well, we already proved you can't get COVID while doing drugs together, so you guys are safe anyway. Yeah, we were ahead of the curve, and then we got back and got complacent where we should have been super spreading around. <laughs> okay, man, if I can eat Molly out of a dirty sack. <laughs> I can go to Kentucky Fried Chicken and sit next to anybody. That's right. Yeah, well, I, it was pretty fucking hypocritical for certain. <laughs> yeah. Probably, you know. I guess the part of that <laughs> part I of mean, the COVID Chuck's is hypocritical anyway. I guess to do a yeah. certain degree. <laughs> was the smartest? I think the empathy is my problem. It's like, because I, do, I yeah. don't, I don't mind risking my own life and shit. But, you know, the empathy to not want to hurt others by spreading something or whatever. Like, if I could have got rid of that, I could go to Texas and start <laughs> hanging out and shit. Have some wings. Oh, Fucking empathy. shit. No, we just got to get the vaccine, man. Yeah, I'm... Uh, Can you get it? Well, when, whenever it hits the age range or whatever. I'm not a, a vital worker. I'm, I'm not, Andy. Believe it or not, I'm not really a vital <laughs> worker. What? <laughs> I mean, here I show up, but, uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you, you could like. Frontline podcast. But, I, you know, when they start doing those things, probably the way to do it is just to go fucking hang out uh, when they do them and say, man, like a junkie. It's like, hey, man, if you got any extra, I'll be in the alley hanging out with my dogs. <laughs> or whatever, you know, because they that's whatever. a thing that actually is a thing, yeah, yeah, by the way. Yeah. Know that, uh huh. Did you hear yeah, that? Going, going to a place that's doing the uh vaccinations and just hanging out and waiting for any extras that they have to throw away, uh, yeah. So that's an option. There yeah, were the there VA that... asked me if uh, uh, if I wanted to get it, but I told them, for whatever risk category you guys have me in, you go ahead and lower me down one and fucking let you know I'll get it later because I'm like the least at I don't leave my fucking house. So, well, we need Stanhope vaccinated first. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the road, <laughs> there was a couple people there yesterday who've already uh, uh, gotten it. Yeah, yeah. Well, who's the old dude to come in? Uh, uh, uphill, uh, uphill something. Oh, uh, uphill Dave. Uphill yeah. Dave. Uphill Dave. Good. He's a good man. We got to keep him around. Yeah. No, yeah. Uphill Dave's great. And I think, and uh, <laughs> Alex is a teacher. Uh, so I think the teachers got. All right. Uh, was Joe? Oh, that's there? why he was see. walking up on me real close, asking me, how's it going? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I wonder. I was like, he coming in kind of hot, bro. And I, don't, I didn't have my mask on me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you thought it was just the mushrooms. I don't, I don't know what was going on, but yeah, it makes sense now. Yeah. I don't even like getting shots, so that's going to be a problem. I got the flu shot this oh, year too, so yeah. I'm uh, yeah, I can shot like that. Are you really? You're no, really. I just don't like needles. Well, I mean, nobody, nobody likes, likes needles. needles. Yeah. Well, some people get used, but to it. I mean, yeah. it's but it's. It doesn't hurt more than having someone pinch your arm. Like, yeah, it's over in a second and it goes away. Over in uh, a sec- yeah, I'm not. I mean, you know, I just get psyched up. I don't. It's like fucking, ever, it's way worse to get your teeth clean. Just that impending. Yeah. In a How would you know? Or exactly. I've had it done. It sucks ass. I don't remember uh, what it was called, in the, but uh, you guys might have had it at some point. But we had to get an inoculation when I was in the military, and uh, people called it like the peanut butter shot because it would fucking they would inject a big wad of fuck, felt like peanut butter yeah. in your, and you would have to massage it in over the next fucking day or two. That oh. one is a shitty one. That sounds fucked up. I have never. We heard probably of got that. tested on that. We probably got tested with some shit. Yeah. Early Agent yeah, Orange. That, uh, <laughs> you got to find out more about the peanut butter shot because I think that you were being experimented on by the army. It you know, there like might be a, that's, <laughs> that's exactly what it was. It was a it was a military <laughs> shot, and it's slang for the bicillin vaccination that the recruits got, uh, unless they had an allergy. And uh, yeah, it's it's it comes up as like, yeah, you should be afraid of this shot. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> Yeah. Jesus, I was like, no, I, I had forgot about that until we just started talking about this, but there's probably a class action lawsuit or something. I got to well, look yeah. this up. 
Yeah. Whenever Chad tastes peanut butter, he turns into an <laughs> assassin. <laughs> I gotta read. Now, now I want to read about this shit. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, it's been coursing through your veins. That's you don't even have an anger management problem. No. Yeah. Peanut butter, bro. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah it triggers you. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I wonder if they they just said fuck it, make them make it a huge shot. These guys all gonna stand in line. Where are they gonna go? They're recruited. Jesus, because that fuck. If that's the shot I'm looking at, that, that's not cool, man. They're what's smaller it like, needles. <laughs> what's it look like under no, the skin? It was, they had it's it was a thick thing, so it had to be a big needle for it to go yeah, through. I remember that. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> We'd have some that they would do with those air guns. They oh yeah, like the one that blew it into your skin. Up to it, yeah. Because <laughs> they would just stand there. <laughs> yeah, they were definitely flying with a hundred other were, dudes. You don't need to be Sam Tripoli to think they were experimenting on you with some shit, dude. <laughs> shit, I don't. Uh, I, would I, would never, yeah. I, I would never doubt it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> why wouldn't? Yeah. If it, if you were running the army, you wouldn't. <laughs> on a couple. Yeah. These dumb shits signed over their whole fucking lives. We can do whatever we want to. Oh, I know. I'm, I'm sure it says right there in the contract somewhere in, in uh, something you could never see with your naked eye that you're, you're uh, <laughs> signing away your, your organs and uh, you're available for any weird experimental test. Yeah. One thing a lot of people don't know that it's like kind of written under is you like, like first I did three years active duty, but you have to do, I think, seven years total. So, I think uh, they had me for four years. I don't remember the exact rules now, but they have you call something called inactive ready reserve, which basically means you're a civilian, but you could be called up like a reserve soldier, even though you don't have to go to drills. You don't have to do anything. You're basically out. And uh, what I was in, in that, yeah, that happened to me. Got pulled in back. And he's like, dude, I've been fucking army. I have long hair. I fuck, you know, I, don't, I was, he had to go get his hair cut and everything. I was like, oh, wow. I didn't even know. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, like, there's fuck shady shit all in there. <laughs> you can also I, do what's called a stop loss and keep you from getting out if there's certain circumstances. Yeah. I, yeah. I sure think I spent maybe a full week in high school convinced that I should join the Navy. Yeah. You know? Could have been in there. It's like that have been full song. You know, I thought about the army. And we, dad said, son, you're fucking high. You know, like it took me, a, you know, it was, it was a I, week. And then I was, I was like, I should, wait, what am I talking about? I would, I would hate it. And then yeah. that was it. I went, I, I, when I totaled my piece of shit car, community college, and then when I bashed the curb and it was, and Dude, they towed it away, I right. went to, I went into, uh, me and, uh, this uh, roommate went into a Navy recruitment office and, uh, there just happened to be a couple of dudes. It was uh, a couple of dudes walking around in the fucking uh, bell bottom Navy things. And I was like, I just saw that and I was like, that's Fags. the uniform, Andy. Yeah, I thought they bell bottoms. Like they're going to what, a disco. Whatever. But, it, you know, I was, a, I was an asshole. And I, and I thought, what well, faggots. And I didn't want to join after that. Yeah. And, uh, and I talked my uh, roommate out of like joining too, but I was like, I, that was it. I mean, if they would have had cool, you know, you know, I was vulnerable. I would have signed immediately. If they would have just said, I'll give you $50 to go get some lunch. I would have done it. Yeah. Dude, you would have been perfect for that. They would have definitely turned you into a Jason Bourne style uh internet <laughs> uh, robert uh, bundlem character yeah i did it yeah they get me yeah i wanted to yeah. be a cop so i already had authority issues <laughs> <laughs> i was taking i went back there i don't know if i told you this uh on one of my i guess i, I don't know why i was up there uh, i was driving but i went to to my community college which uh back to El lynn benton community college and i just i walked around there and i parked where i'd slammed mm -hmm. my car and ruined it, it and had it towed away and went into my old dojo the gym and uh, <laughs> uh you know uh 
<clears throat> I'm glad they didn't have cameras on everything back then. I wasn't able because we used to crawl up over the tiles of uh, uh, from the laundry room. We could crawl into the equipment storage room, and that's what we all got in trouble for was stealing mm-hmm. shit out of there. But you know, it's like, oh yeah, it looks like you know, it's still all you know. If I, uh, in my fifties, I could, I could have gotten a, a broom and and punched one of them tiles out of the way and fell into the equipment room again <laughs> one more time <laughs> for old time's sake. But, uh, but uh, it would be, so, it would be fun to like- do a. Uh, sorry, it'd be fun to do a walking tour of the community college with you, Andy. <laughs> it, it, it was ridiculous. Gobble how- some mushrooms and do a do a walk yeah, around. It seems so like, like ridiculous that that's really that's you know. I was like, man, you know, how, how obvious was I with, uh, you know, three black dudes and uh, going into the thing and then just hanging out with them till they started talking up front and then slipping off into the back and loading up books and shit. And I was like, you know, it was, in my mind, it seemed like it was a lot bigger space. And then when I'm walking around there, it's like fucking like two buildings and a fucking gymnasium. Like what a piece of shit I was! I had fucking hopes and dreams, and this is where I was. What was I fucking? Uh, <laughs> God damn it! It's, uh, yeah. it's like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I I don't condone it, but that shooting at the community college in Oregon a few years ago, like, you know, I used that for a comedy skit where I said, way to kick yeah. somebody when they're down. But, you know, it's, it is like, you know, walking around that community college, I can't, I, I don't know. There's like, oh, it was like a mixture of like losers and old people at community college. There was like a, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's they community them, college. Well, yeah, there was like a, <laughs> yeah, like elder something class. But there was like, there'd yeah. be like six old dudes in, in like, like law enforcement classes. Like, yeah, fucking good luck, dudes. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Maybe saying, they're I'm doing th- admin. Maybe they're going to work yeah. up behind a desk. I don't know, but you know, but I, I thought uh, it was ridiculous at the time. Now I'm probably older than the people in the community college classes. Go, why would you even bother being so close to dead? I'm defending them because that's my age group almost. I know, uh, yeah, yeah. I enjoyed community college when I went. Uh, I was only uh, 25. I was pretty young still, and I did like 25 to 27. I did a. Uh, went to school but my favorite guy there andy is the really smart guy he hangs out in the labs to like help tutor people but it's really to just be condescending mm-hmm. because he's the fucking smartest guy at community hey, now, college what's wrong like, with hanging out you need to move the can... fuck up yeah well he was, the, there, was, there was a couple of people that were just dicks douchebags about it and it was just like it was a whole personality of people and it's like just go the fucking there's a University fucking satellite yeah. campus right over there. Go over there, motherfucking smart yeah. motherfucker. Community community college should just be disassembled after COVID. It's like, yeah, it turns out you don't have to sit in a room full of fucking losers. You can just take a fucking YouTube class, watch a couple of YouTube instructional videos, Master and be class, off on yeah. your way. It ain't just community college that is being exposed for that, for yeah. sure. Why spend a hundred thousand dollars sending your kid to the University of Iowa when they can take this watch YouTube videos and learn everything they need to know yeah, about whatever yeah. job it is? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a good thing, I guess. Uh huh. Yeah, but you can't learn karate unless you go into a community college, don't you? I, 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 I I'm still trying to gym. think. Because the gym was like, the gym's great. I don't know if they redid it, but it's just, you know, like the floor had a shine to it. And I was the only person in there. And I walked out there and then I walked to the middle and I went, yeah, that, you know, <laughs> did the couple of karate moves. And then I walked out. <laughs> you did karate moves on the, on I did like like the a, center I court did like of the basic, basketball court? Uh, I did the opening knuckles together and then a, 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 a block, block, block and tank. punch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I bowed to my <laughs> uh, and, But uh, yeah. God damn it. I, I forget even why. I went, oh, I was hoping that their bookstore was open because I thought, I wonder if they got merch, you know? I went to college there. I should have a, 
fucking hat and everything shut because of COVID. But it, it did remind me of all the, and I was, I had no, no, you know, I like one of the things I was got good at was throwing bottles at cars on the back of a train. You know, that's what, like, I would uh, go the, to the, the, the cars that were transported on the train. Yeah. Yeah. Train, yeah. A, am, like a fast moving yes. train would come by with automobiles. And I knew when that was. I didn't know where any of my classes were or what time they were, but I knew I would be sound asleep and I would hop up and run out to the backyard and start hurling bottles. You know, I had, I had discipline, but it just didn't uh, get me credits. Uh, well, that is a very specific job skill. So they had a baseball sure team. I could have. I could have tried out for the baseball team. I, I've never played, but I can throw a bottle and hit a Porsche going by really fast. <laughs> they were on their way to Portland, too. You know, I'd like to think I got people some savings. No, that increases the cost of a car. I know, but the you people buying the car. Dan, Shaley's catching yeah. Dan sale. Yeah, yeah. They were like, oh, I don't know what happened, man. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> well, looks like a bottle of cigarettes uh, went through a window. Uh, yeah, you I didn't were like, a bottle kid, but there was I would you know I, uh, there was a, I remember one time I was getting ready to hurl a bottle and there was a little bit in there and I didn't. So this, I was. This is what happened. Yeah, those were fun to hit too, but those were that was like shooting fish in a barrel. You know, you're always going to hit it. Well, you don't get the satisfaction of a spider a spider right. web crack on a window. Right, right. You're, that's you're, uh, that's the, why. That was kind of why I started drinking the bigger bottles. You get more of a hurl. You get more of a, uh, you know, uh, pints. You can't do much. Andy, I saw a thing. You'll appreciate this. I saw a thing the other day uh, that I never did know. If you take a spark plug from a vehicle and you smash it up and you get little pieces of the porcelain, just little tiny ones, they're called. They call them ninja rocks. You can just toss it, like just lightly toss it one of one of them at a a, a window, shatter it instantly. Like you just shot what? it with a fucking shotgun. There's really? YouTube videos of it. I never you knew know, about what? it. Or anything. Yeah. You smash up the spark plug first. Yeah, smash the spark. One of the dudes takes. He sets the window. Uh, sets a, a like a car window that's not in a car. Uh, over against the side and fucking hucks a whole spark plug at it and the spark plug bounces off of it. Then he takes it, smashes it and has the little thing and just throws a little handful of the pellets at the the ceramic pieces. Boom! Shatters. I don't know. I don't know what the physics huh. is of it or what, but uh, it first blew me a away. Shotgun pellet. Well, because because remember, I, I I wanted when I first rode a motorcycle, I saw that people had like a big leather strap that hangs from their handlebars sometimes, right, and I wondered right. what it was. I was like, "What is that? I don't know what that would do." And then I found out it's called a get back whip. It's got right. lead in the base of it, and you can unclip it from the thing with a quick release, and you can whip somebody's yeah. fucking window out and fucking if they're you know. But now I just know I have to keep a pocket full of these. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm always li- ninja rocks. Yeah. How <laughs> the fuck? You got to run me off the road. <laughs> I'll try him. It says here yeah. a guy a guy <laughs> writes that uh, he he uh, always carries them with him when he's riding his bike. So then when asshole drivers swerve yeah. to try and knock him off the road, he'll just run yeah. up and then throw it at his at, at the window. Yeah, and take off. That's what, what I'm talking about. That, yeah. That's a- that sounds like a guy who uh, perceives uh, that happens to him more than it does. It's like somebody. It happens a lot was, on a motorcycle. Like they actually it try to knock down, or just lot. inattentive. Uh, no, I, more inattentive. But then they'll get aggressive at it if you fucking you know they act like it's your fault. So then they won't yield or anything. And you know, I always and like push, I always oh, just say ignorance. <laughs> Oh, I I usually I I followed him home before that doesn't work. I, out. I feel terrible when I fuck up driving. If I make a mistake and almost like you know change lanes into somebody or something, I'm always like, ah, ah, like you know, fuck. I, people I always, make mistakes. Yeah, you're yeah. like expected to not ever make a mistake while driving. Yeah, and people are people. <laughs> right. you know, I, I, well, I don't know. Those are doing a lot of other things. 
I usually, if I start to get upset with somebody, like the way they're driving or something like that, I'll usually remind myself that uh, when I'm in a, maybe they're, you know, just got to this area and they don't, you know, they don't even know where to turn or what the fucking speed limit is because there hasn't been a sign on them because I've been there in other places. Like, I don't, I feel, sorry, I'm just apologizing because I know I'm the asshole. Like, I'm new here. I don't know how this works. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get far less of it than my mom <laughs> did, but I get my share of that. You know, people. <laughs> like, sorry, man. I'm trying to load a bowl. Don't be fucking, you know. That's it, you know. You honked while I'm loading the bowl. I swerved over. So we both committed a foul. Offsetting penalties, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what was their penalty? It's I'm like sorry. it never happened. <laughs> yeah. Well, honking. You know. Honking's not a penalty. Sometimes it is. Sometimes yeah. it is. I mean, yeah, penalty. No, I mean, people are aggressive so, with horn. So uh, Bill Nye, the science guy, writes. Uh, he, he did something on the American Ceramic Society. Uh, well, no, what Bill Bill Nye's quote, quoted on here, but but basically the the Ceramic Society says uh, uh, they're they're easy to get. They're they're readily available. The Ninja Rocks. And it's the broken piece of spark plug, and it doesn't work on the windshield. It works on the uh, like on the driver's window, like the 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 side roll up mirrors, windows. Side windows. Yeah, because the uh, the windshields are laminated safety glass, safety and that's glass. different. So. <laughs> Good to know. Thanks for wow. thanks for clearing that up. You know. Yeah, now, you're, look, just look, if you're an issue, if you're in issues with Andy Fan and you're you're learning about Ninja Rocks for the first time and you want to use them effectively, you don't want to get a whole handful and waste them on somebody's windshield. It's not going to work. Now you know the effective and proper way of the use of the Ninja Rocks. Yeah, I think one one of the videos I saw uh, was there. actually a company that created like a laminate. It was it seemed kind of like tint, I guess. I didn't really watch the whole thing, but it was. Uh, uh, specifically to protect from people doing this, I guess people. Uh, I think it may have been in another country. People were Ninja having like doing this all over, just fucking people's windows up, while kids uh, probably or whatever. Now that you're so aware of Ninja Rocks, something. you're going to be going. How do I protect myself against Ninja Rocks? I can't sleep at night. Products. I'm worried about Ninja Rocks. Yeah, and Ninja then there's Rock a product player. for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can put out. Uh, Get okay. back whips, Ninja Rocks. Yeah, this yeah. Is fucking you getting all crazy, that down? Dude. This, this, I, it's I, so I difficult to be a biker. I, I don't have current. I don't think that's, uh, that's for a, 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 a select few. I think. Uh, yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, although I did want one of those get back whips. I said I, <laughs> and, I and I they were only like thirty bucks. And I told Jenny, I said, let me. Can I get one of these? And she said, no. And I was like, it pays for like itself after two uses. <laughs> I was like, why? Well, you have to get a new one because basically you just let go of it. That one will do. A yeah, yeah. You just slap back and lay it across the windshield and take off. But if we, yeah. we yeah. redesigned the big gyms. There was a guy, I think his name was the whip and he could have, it could just yeah. be get back, get back. The whip has a get back <laughs> and he rides his motorcycle around and he doesn't ask for trouble. But when it comes up <laughs> upon him, He's more than ready to back yeah. it up. That's right. Whip. He's or, riding for justice. Or it could have been, hey, oh, your chick's calling. You got to leave. <laughs> See you later, <laughs> Whip. <laughs> <laughs> the whip looks, the pussy uh, whip. whip looks like he's uh, in Al-Qaeda. Yeah, they all kept their neck beards trimmed. I think he was part of the wolf pack, though. Yeah. <clears throat> They all yeah, pull they all came right. together to fight the burnt faces in my world. There's the whip. <laughs> oh, you can't see his face. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he was. They were like the burnt. The burnt faces were like the star-bellied sneeches. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, Nobody he, started out stars, but after a while, half of them were in another group. You got to have an origin story and being put in the <laughs> back of a flaming van by a fucking dumb kid <laughs> and a smoke bomb. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they could never, never be heroes or well, General Custer. He wasn't playing against character, mm. and he didn't melt like the others. Uh, his face was. I fucked. think I, I think I figured it out too. You guys all saw Toy Story, right? The first mm -hmm. Toy Story. Yeah. Yeah. That's what was happening in the other kid's yard. You know, that was Andy. And Sid. That's Andy. Was Sid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he, he, he put bombs on him or lit him up. 
it is yeah. this pretty natural thing as you know like yeah absolutely me and my brother put a bunch of windows out in the house with a shooting little army guys we put them around and then we'd we'd uh we had like we'd get up and sniper and shit but we didn't know about ricochet at all <laughs> <laughs> i taught my kids to fucking shoot army men i found an army man in my backyard just the other day for my kids set it always set up a little army men all over because you could get those for cheap at the dollar store and set them all up just shoot them with your bb gun all day yeah get yellow legs <laughs> yeah. well he was he was he was the urine for dumping urine bags on but yeah, that's what we do. Is we shoot them, shoot them, and then uh, oh, and yeah, that my brother Jeff is uh, uh, currently in the hospital with a, a bad foot. And but we used to hang out and do that kind of shit. We'd put a like we'd always set our army whenever there was supposed to be snow. We'd put up them like a valley forge outside the window and hope hope for snow. So we'd open it up in the morning and they'd all be covered in snow. Frozen. And yeah. <laughs> uh, but we uh we got destructive. David had uh, David made all these model airplanes, and he was the biggest and 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 obvious at the time the meanest of the fucking bunch by far. And he had all these th- things that he spent a lot of time putting up on and uh, model airplanes, and then he had them hanging from string hanging on his down ceiling. From the ceiling. Yeah, yeah, and then me and Jeff went in there with wiffle bats <laughs> and beat the fuck out of them. <laughs> like you know. Maybe David wasn't even mean, but he, you know, we deserved it or whatever. But that was, you know, we fucked that up. And then uh, we, we, uh, John had this big book from the library about the Civil War, and me and Jeff cut all the fucking war scenes out and pinned them up on our wall. And <laughs> dead, dead Civil War guys and shit. Why? And I, I don't know. <laughs> we, you know, we laid a, we. We took, they took David and Larry's centerfolds, and then oh. we'd go lay them out on a bed and then lay on top of them. So I think Jeff was the leader, <laughs> you know, but uh, some fucked up shit. And then I don't get to talk to him about it because he became kind of a, a religious dude. And I can't go, hey, what was up when we'd stick our nose That's in shame. each other's asses? Was that was that parental <laughs> supervised? Why would we, who, who was, you know? Was that, that homework, Andy, That from wasn't school? a game I chose, was it? You know? You know? Uh. <laughs> oh, I don't uh. talk about that. But uh, maybe he's well now that he's losing toes, and uh, I got to call him. Uh, I guess it's a bummer. If he would just be on a Zoom call with a lot of other people, I'd talk to him. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and mute you now. But uh, he was uh, like, he was the one closest to me in age, and he was the one who ripped me off on cards and everything. And he would uh, every yeah. time we competed, he would. He you know, cheat, it in. yeah, he would, he would, he would just keep like he would keep stats in baseball. We'd play wiffle ball, and then I would bat, and then they he would record each thing as a different player. But basically, he could tell me my team average, which was me, and he'd go, <laughs> "You're batting a hundred. You know, like you know, I'd lose the game, and I was in the clubhouse, you know, fucking pissed off. And then here comes the stat <laughs> guy to tell me I batted a hundred, and you know, my ERA or whatever. It's like a fucking dick. <laughs> What's going on in that guy's world? <laughs> and then that is a fucking hilarious way to bully your brother. I have to say right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah he's a psych- so, psychologically damaged me. <laughs> so not only did you have to play him in the sport and lose, but then you had to face the media after yeah. the game. Yeah, and I would be like Billy Mark, get the get your goddamn cool, you know, get out of here, man. Yeah. <laughs> we play ping pong and uh, it's just everything. He would talk shit and uh and uh like ping pong I started uh like I, I would hit the ball as far out of like I'd make him go get it. Like a hunt I I I would, would okay, I'm gonna lose. And I'm not gonna lose with dignity. And I would just knock the ball as far away. Go, go get it, fuckhead. And uh, he'd go get it. And you know, he'd win eventually. Same thing in basketball. He'd always, you know, he was better than me until when when I finally started beating him, and I fucking threw down on him on our dangerous court. And uh, and then we stopped competing. So I'm thinking if he loses his foot, maybe we I set him up at a ping pong table. Uh, let's go, man. <laughs> Remember all that shit? You know, remember 1975 through 79? How you couldn't shut your fucking mouth? <laughs> that four-year four run. 
Where you were undefeated? Yeah, he fucking undefeated. He never lost anything. And he fucking kept the fucking scrapbook of his victories. They didn't translate into other parts of his life, unfortunately. Oh, God did this, damn it. Andy, did that force you to have to try to keep stats on him so that if he was no. having a bad day, you could no. rub it in on him? Or did you just say, fuck no, it? No, on I, I just wanted to uh, shut him up, I, you know, not by stats. But, Plus, uh, <laughs> he, but he later, probably kept stats on himself that he also reminded Andy played, of how much better yeah, his yeah. stats were. I know yeah. some of that skill set would have helped me at community college because I kept <laughs> stats for the basketball team. And I really didn't give a fuck about it. It is so connected. <laughs> yeah. All of this is so uh, connected. Yeah, that's why I went back into that gym. I could hear the voice of Clarence going, bitch, I need seven more rebounds. <laughs> okay, man, you got him. <laughs> you got him, Clarence. Don't worry about it. <laughs> How am I gonna get seven rebounds if I fouled out? You leave that to me. I'll front load the first quarter. <laughs> oh my god! I would love to go back and look at the community college stats from that season. Yeah, well, none of those All guys. Of the none of those guys records were set. None of them got on to Oregon State, which I think was why they were there. And I yeah. doubt any of them really. It was, uh, they, yeah, it was, uh, I would like to see footage of that team because from what I remember, we sucked ass. And sometimes we had more points than the other team, and the other team beat us. They're like, oh, fuck, let me redo the numbers on this. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I gave, Floyd, I gave Floyd six points, and he didn't score any, and they forgot to take him away from CC. Yeah, you can be liberal with the rebounds because that yeah. doesn't equal a point. <laughs> yeah. No backup. Yeah. Uh huh. That's where that's where they kind of took me off of that, and then uh, then I started doing some volleyball uh, uh, lines thing, judging, and I was no better at that. I like uh, I know you guys think I'm attentive, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> doing like that. And I just hear like you know uh, a screech, and then everybody wanting me to make a call on whether it was out or in, and I didn't see it, but I, I you know. Whatever I, you know, what, I, I, what I, were you watching? In, and I it was a lot. after the first couple of times where I was indecisive and went back and it's like, oh fuck, I really wasn't watching. It's not what they I, want. So you got to just throw it down. To if you're think, wrong. I'm trying to think of a job you would be less good at than volleyball line judge. I like, did a lot that of is that. not a rally at all. To get, pick up targets. Uh, drive a pickup truck and pick up targets and listen to Phil Collins loud. <laughs> pick up targets. Well, like a archery class and shit. Uh, you could drive like on the grass and go. I'd uh, go pick up the archery targets. But I'd like to. That's a job. <laughs> yeah, that? yeah. Well, it was basically you got financial aid. And you just had to look busy. Yeah, but, that's it. Uh, okay. You know, I had a re responsibilities and and uh, such. I just don't think I fulfilled them. Uh, handing out <laughs> towels, because I'd hand out towels, and I, and there was a the ladies could come up and the dudes could come up, and uh, and usually I would hang out on the lady side. <laughs> <laughs> How are you in the ladies' locker room handing out towels? They, they just had a window, a co window that they could come. They come up uh, like before the before you yeah, split. Like they're not supposed side. to get yeah. naked, you know. But I I did become obsessed with a a girl there, and uh, I was like <laughs> smitten with her. And then I saw her with some dude at a dance there, and I was fucking, I was drunk, and I was like, fuck that bitch. I didn't say it to her, but I remember like that's where I was at. That's why I was in community college, sort out some problems that I had. And I never did. Yeah, like you know, like the, yeah, that's like uh, Porky's. Porky's part one. Porky's. Yeah, I can't. I I wanted to ask earlier why you keep show, showing pictures of Porky's. Well, when he but... said he, he crawled into the him and the other guys crawled uh, into the uh, locker room area, it uh, reminded me of Porky's when they're like, uh, hey, hey, now, now, they're all going down there. Uh, yeah, that's, and then it came that's... back again. I could use it again. Don't those Porky's movies <laughs> seem like they're hard to watch? A little bit hard to watch with today's they ear. Are. Oh my uh, God! Little just on. today. I, yeah. I, they're on Amazon Prime now, so I put one on the Twitch stream the other day. Just ironically, because if, in the first ten minutes, it violates all the Twitch yeah. terms of service. You're not allowed to say the shit that even they say. That, on, if I said the same shit on there, right. I'd get banned. 
Yeah, but even I can play the movie. So <laughs> even something as innocent as a, a freshman girl coming up to a, a meet and asking him how he got the name Meat. <laughs> so, <you know? laughs> Let me show you. Whoa, 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 yeah. Meat. Whoa. No, bro, we don't do that anymore. <laughs> she, she, she's, she, you got to make sure she's at least 15. <laughs> I mean, you want to you want to get a real quick uh, look into how quickly things have changed. I mean, that was out in the 80s. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, that whole movie, I can't believe it was on cable. H- Henry yeah. Phillips was a, a was a child on the set of Pee Wee or uh, Porky's 2 and met Wendy. This is kind of his claim to fame. Really? Yeah, Henry's dad was a police officer in Porky's too. <laughs> How right. is that Henry's nice. claim to fame? He's a, I don't know. He's a celebrity. I know. That's what I know him from. He's on TV. Well, he met, but he met <laughs> Wendy. He, you know, like Wendy. That was right. his peak. That well, but I mean, that was the like, oh fuck, that's what you know. That was a, she was to, a total whore, and it was all right. You know, yeah, fuck Pee Wee just so he would shut up about being a well, virgin at the end of uh, one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know? it's like, oh, this guy won't quit bothering people because he's a virgin. Exactly. Somebody suck him off or fuck him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's like yeah. muting Derek. Uh, yeah, 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 <laughs> it definitely, uh, uh definitely uh, a different uh, era of movie making. You know, I miss, I miss those uh, where there would just be tits in a movie that you didn't. Didn't necessarily have anything to do with the movie, you know, any which way but loose. I'm sure we got to see some, right? Sandra Locke, though. Gratuitous, well, I think. Yeah, sure. gratuitous. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis made it uh, like, well, that's not gratuitous. That's what you want. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> gratuitous was those movies where they had the fucking natural tits all flappy and hanging in the wrong direction. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, man. Trading places that didn't show very good grass, except for Jamie Lee Curtis. That party at Eddie's place, man. <laughs> what movie's that? Any which way but loose? That's, no, that's uh, that, Porky's Revenge. That that's Porky's Wendy. too. I'm gonna oh, have yeah, man. Revenge, right? Yeah, yeah. Why didn't like that four of them? Porky was just <laughs> my business. There was a guy in Tokyo. One of the all the bars, bar row in Coquille, it was like this skid row of fucking, you know, Moe's taverns uh, in Coquille. And they, it, and it wasn't that far from my house, but when we were uh, like in high school, we could get into the back of this one bar and there was a guy who looked like Porky. His, his name, we called him, his name was Doc. And he had, he had ran a poker room in the back and we all got cheated. We knew we were getting cheated. And, uh, and he was real you know, clumsy with his cheating. And then uh, with the, when we got caught cheating, he would fucking, you know, throw us out and shit. But it was like, it was a lot like Porky's doc <laughs> rule called it his uh, fucking, you know, we'd slip cards back and forth and try to cheat the guy who was way better at cheating cards. <laughs> <laughs> I never cheated cheater. Yeah. Coke, but Coke, uh-huh. like, you know, they just, you got close enough to a drinking age where they'd let you go into the seedy bars and drink and nobody gave a shit. Right. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, that happened a lot uh, pre nineteen eighty five. Mm-hmm. I mean, when I was mm-hmm. in 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 Southern California, I, there were bars. We never went, but <clears throat> I knew guys in high school that were uh, going into bars. You know, right down in downtown Fullerton, usually uh, uh, the good old uh, foreign owned. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Hey, let's get out of here and uh, make a drink and come back on the other side. What do you say? Yeah, um, that's what we're going to do, everybody. We're going to go over to the Patreon and uh, join us over there. I hope you will. It's just five dollars a month, and uh, every episode finishes up over there. It's a lot of fun. So uh, that's where we'll be. Also, uh, Andy Andrist on Venmo, and uh, right there, send him stuff. A uh, little tip jar, a uh, little something for the effort. You know what I jerky? mean? Jerky. That's right. That's uh, perfect. Jerome sent me jerky. <laughs> Beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. And uh, also uh, subscribe to Chad's uh, Twitch channel. Right there Watch it porkies. is. And uh, hang out with Chad and his friends. Watch Porkies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's on oh. Twitch. So do that. Well. And uh, we're going to be over on Patreon. So thanks for being out there. We love you guys. Like and subscribe. Tell your friends.
and uh, we'll see you on the other side. I didn't step on the ending. <laughs> yeah, you had food in your mouth. That was almost too smooth. Oh. Yeah, if I have a treat waiting, and then when they start, and then I start eating, then I don't interrupt. It's a system. <laughs> well, it's a system. System for the downs. <laughs>